I'm here on a journey, a journey like no other, to beat RuneScape by playing one chunk at a time, full of unique grinds, crazy finds, and fun times. Who knows what's next in store? Sure, many have done it before, but not like this. This is One Chunk Man, the Falador edition. I have decided to do something stupid. Now that I have the means to make a dragon fire shield, I want to make one. To get that, I need the 1 in 10,000 drop from the black dragons. Killing those dragons just now wasn't just random, that was a test. I wanted to see how many I could kill, and it seems like with my current gear, I can kill about 3 every 10 minutes. And if I extrapolate that out to the drop rate, 10,000 kills is about 600 hours. If I upgrade my arrows from the adamant arrows I'm using to amethyst arrows, that'll speed things up significantly. That'll get me more like 4 kills every 10 minutes, or around 415 hours for 10,000 kills. And as my range level goes up, that number will go down. When I look into this more and more, all I see are benefits. If I end up having to kill 10,000 dragons, that means about 2.5 million prayer XP. That amount of prayer XP won't even be enough to get me to the level required for a future diary. 10,000 dragon kills would also mean 10,000 dragon hide. And if I tanned all of those dragon hide and crafted them, that's about 27 mil in alks. That's not even including the drops I get from the dragon, which can be elked as well. It'd be at least 30 mil I could make from these guys. There's also a really good chance that I would hit all of the high tier items on the rare drop table. In fact, I've already hit the rune kite shield. I've done some calculations comparing my dehyde to my void stuff, and it seems like against the dragons, I get better DPS using the dehyde. This is a big episode, so I've got a big goal. Can we hit 300 likes? And see if you can guess what the final KC is going to be. Whoever guesses closest gets... Nothing! Yeah! Woohoo! Let's get into it. The first item on the agenda is to get one more crafting level. And I'm doing that with the emeralds now. I'm going to make a handful of emerald rings. They'll be good for dueling rings in the future. And for the rest of them, I'm going to make bracelets because they're the best alkables. Here we go. Here's the 85 crafting. And I can... Craft Amethyst Arrow Tips. Let's go mining. So I've been doing a lot of contemplation, wondering what exactly might be the best way forward killing these dragons. What's the best strategy? Well, I think I've actually landed on the best thing using the MSB. Alternatively, I could get one more smithing level and make myself a rune crossbow and use that. Problem being with that, how slow it will be to collect rune bolts. Now, the rune crossbow is actually worse DPS-wise until level 73 range. That's when it overtakes the MSB. But it's only slightly better. So I don't think that extra time wasted collecting rune bolts is worth it. I can actually get amethyst pretty quickly. In fact, like I've already got a thousand arrow tips and I haven't been doing this all that long, maybe an hour. And we'll compare that to rune bolts in an hour. I might be able to get, I don't know, 100, 200? So I think this is just the best option, using the MSB. I just got a medium clue that I can potentially do. This first step's in Draenor, and well, I don't know my chances of finishing the clue, but I do have quite a bit of the world unlocked now, so we'll see. I'll see how I go. Pretty sure this is the first medium step I've ever even actually been able to complete, so GL me. Well, it was just one step that I could do. That's Crandor. It's almost tempting to keep this clue because that chunk is unlockable. The black dragons I'm killing will only drop hard clues. So I think it's actually worth holding on to this. I can make these amethyst arrows, by the way, because I have a high enough fletching level. It's 82 fletching to make these. And I am a professional gamer, already having 83. And there we go. That's all the arrows crafted, fletched. 10k will last me a good while. Let's go dragon killing. Hello, Mr. Dragons. I got a second rune kite shield. I've got two 1 in 8k 
rune kite shields from these guys. What's going on? I have reached 100 kills now. And I haven't even got the drop. How rigged is this game? Actually not bad XP on range I'm getting. It's 16.6k per hour it seemed to settle to. And well that's only going to go up when the range level goes up. Well, it's not actually that bad. It's probably like 50% slower than if I was training on something better. So not bad. Just got 71 range. Up until this point I've been killing these dragons just normally without using prayers but now I've decided I think that if I pray flick eagle eye which is 15% by the way it's just gonna be way quicker. I do a lot more damage now look at that just did a 17. My max hit before was 15. Also seems to be a very good thing for me to learn how to pray flick. I won't be doing this all the time just whenever I feel like going high octane. There's another range level out here. Here's a little something I didn't consider when I was first doing my calculations for how long this will take. It's the collection of the amethysts. So currently, since I started using amethysts, I've got 261 kills and have lost 5,989 arrows from that. So that's about 23 arrows per kill. And that works out to be around 58, 59 kills per hour I spend mining. So about every two and a half hours I'm shooting the black dragons, I'm spending one hour mining. So realistically, I should add about 150 hours to that 400 hour estimate that I've got. Level 73 on the account, up we go. Leo actually pog, I just got a bank come up to me for free. Nice, easy, I had a full inventory too, that was perfect. Let's see what we get from these crystal keys. Okay, coal's pretty nice. And the Addy Square, not so great. But yeah, okay. <laughs> now I gotta stop the recording. Ah, 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 ah. That right there is an item on the rare drop table, a runey spear. Will I ever use it? Probably not. Will I get a dragon spear? Probably will. Thanks for listening. Oh, another level on the account. 74. This is big brain time. Till now, I've been running back and forth to the bank, but look at this. Making a couple of emerald necklaces to turn them into binding necklaces to runecraft mist runes. So we're on a quick side mission here to get some rune essence and we got all that pure essence to make mist runes. So we got all of those mist runes so we can do teleports to Fally. Sort of realized that teleporting back and running back will be much quicker than saving the inventory space. In actual fact it's only really losing one inventory space to the mist runes because I'm already getting lore rune drops from the dragons. So teleporting back, very nice. Now what I'm going to do with all the stackables, like the money and the javelins and so on, I'll drop them at the end of the inventory so I've got more space for the bones and the dehyde. Then when I bank, I'll run back here, pick them back up, do it over again. That way, I'm killing more dragons per inventory. There is a chance that someone could pick up the drops, but meh. Subscribe for more dead dragons. I've got enough misreans to last me for about 2k dragon kills. Now that's pretty good. It's gonna get a bit annoying at the end of the inventory when I'm dropping things and picking things up and dropping them to make sure they don't despawn, but I think worth the effort for sure. So now all that stuff there will be waiting for me to pick back up when I come back. And what I've been doing is making sure the monks are hitting me when I go in here so the dragons can't. And by the time I get back here, things are cruisy. Nice, nice. I think that works out well. I'm going to keep doing that. I think in a way now, I'm probably going to be getting more kills per inventory. And, well, the inventories are going to be quicker too, since I'm dropping all these alcohols. So this works out well, well, well indeed. Regarding the stackables, I've been keeping rune knives this whole time, but now I'm leaving them. The rest I'll keep. They'll serve a purpose. But the knives, not really. So this has worked out really well. Look at all the bloods, the javies, the coins, and the darts I've got. 
I'm gonna bank them now, but this is, I don't know how many trips worth, maybe 10 or so. Each of those trips have been 13 kills, barring one where I took a couple in sold heads. Gonna do that again and bank them. So I'm getting more kills per trip and I'm teleporting. The 30k also includes two adamant chest plate body alks. I went ahead and brought some nature runes with me to alk them. Oh, would you look at that? I have received an easy clue while I've been mining and I can do it. So I'm gonna try and get some more clues. I got those imps still in the bank. Maybe I can finish an easy. Finally, I got one. I just cracked open like 70 implings. It's meant to be a 1 in 25, my guy. I can do that one too. Sick. I got two steps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the two steps. Let's go. And can we do this clue? Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Potential? Potential? Can do. Hey. Can we do this one? Hans? Yeah, we can. Oh, what's another clue from Hans? Uh, okay. Can't do that one, but I can do... The other one, actually. Casket! Casket! Beautiful! Oh, I am gonna open this, and I really hope I get something good out of it. Please. Um... Okay. It's... yeah. Well, I've gone ahead and collected myself a fresh 20k amethyst arrow tips. That'll keep me going a while. It was a solid 16-17 hours collecting all these arrow tips. Did also get a hard geode with a clue that I actually can do. So when I go back to the dragons, I'm going to try and juggle. It'd be amazing if I could finish a hard clue on this account. Because, you know, I don't have many steps I can do. But if there's a chance, I want to try. Oh, we got a little fletching level while we're making our arrows. So we have a nice little mystery box here to open while we're here. No point banking it because it's probably going to be useless. Let's see. <laughs> Look at all the juggling I'm doing. I've got so many things on the ground and so many more things in my inventory to drop. I'm going to leave everything on the ground and have a full inventory of hide and bones and come back with some alks for the rune longsword and the addy plate body. My god, there'll be like eight things on the ground or something. It's crazy. Well, that snuck up on me, a nice little 76 range. Going up, going up. Oh, you big fat bastard. Oh, one HP, sick. Still alive. <laughs> Almost died, that's crazy. And I just got that hit points level two, so if I didn't get that, <laughs> maybe death would have been upon me. Look at this insane amount of stuff I'm juggling right now. I have... Rune long, blood rune, coins, another rune long in my inventory, my clue scroll. Oh my god, a rune spear, a head, the spear I'm gonna out because I've already got one. Uh, like 1 in 800 off the drop table, that one is. Addy javelin, addy dart, pick up all of this stuff. This is the biggest juggle I've done yet, this is crazy. There's so much stuff here. Look at it all, oh my god. Okay, so I'll elk these things and I'll be rocking and rolling. It's high effort for sure to do all this juggling, but I'd say it's definitely worth it. Also, if I do get a hard clue, there's a very small chance that I can do that step too, but I think the pipe dream is worth trying. I got a nice little Rooney bar in this inventory. I'm going to take that back to the bank with my insult head. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and bring everything back except for the hard clue scroll because I don't really fancy leaving 55k sitting around down here. Maybe someone could spawn in and yoink it. There's like a really low chance of it, but you know, someone might come in and go, Oh, I'm going to kill some dragons and go, Oh, I'm going to take that money. Here's my little strat at the bank too. So I got everything with the filler. I just deposit everything. Still got the mist and the laws in because they're built it out. I take a little anti-poison out, have a little drinky, get rid of it. Off I go. And I need the anti-poison for these spiders here. They have a chance at poisoning me, so I'd rather not get poisoned. While I'm here, I stop to get aggro off one of the monks, make sure they're smacking me on my way in, so the dragons can't breathe their fire on me. And then I go down here to de-aggro the monk, and start shooting the dragon. Hopefully that monk will walk away. Sometimes they stick around. The monk walked away, which is great. Now I'll go ahead and yoink this loot. It's a shame this dragon's so close to me. This is the only way this guy can attack me if he's so close, but that's okay. I stand on this tile specifically. I'll show you why in a second. But when this dragon spawns in, you saw just then he flipped his aggro towards me. I'm just in range for his aggro. Then when I kill this guy, this one still wants to walk forward to me. If I stand here, still wants to walk forward to me. If I grab the loot, still wants to walk forward. 
so I can't actually get hit by this guy. Then I stand here on this tile to bring him forward. Now he's blocking the path down here in case one of those monk guys wants to roll around here and give me a smack. Grab my clue again and keep killing. It's been 200 kills or so that I've been trying to juggle this clue and get another step. Haven't got a single clue scroll yet. Just got another nice little range level still trying to juggle that clue though. I think I've reached a point now where these kills are actually noticeably quicker. Well, even if I just go back a couple levels in range, I was scared of this clue scroll despawning by the time I kill this thing because I've been tending to drop it when I start the kill. But look at this, this is only like halfway gone by the time I've killed this giant. It's It's gone like halfway gone or three quarters gone. It never really seems to be going much more than that. This is great. I guess that little bit of accuracy is helping me quite a lot because I just noticed I got a new max hit. I just hit a 16 before. Oh man, I am really mad right now. My computer decided to have a hissy fit and in the process crashed Runelight. I just lost my hard clue scroll. When I figured out what was happening, I went and grabbed my tablet and tried to log in and find the world I was in. I knew it was an Australian world, but by the time I got through all the worlds, the loot was gone and the clue scroll was too. <sighs> Man, that is just so frustrating. Oh, I've spent so much time trying to clue juggle that hard clue for the host to get another step. It's just really, I was like... It was like 250 kills or something, at least, that I had that clue scroll. So sad. Even though it was just a pipe dream of finishing that hard clue, it would have just been cool to get a couple steps to attempt. I'm sad. That was like a really cool little side mission I was trying to do. Hey, how you doing? I'm making more arrows at the fire obelisk. I just made 15,000 amethyst arrows next to the fire obelisk. Let's do it again sometime. That's actually the quickest XP per hour I've ever gotten in this game. Look at this. 555,000 XP per hour. That's nuts. If you could keep that up forever, that's nuts. Hey, why don't we rub a little salt in the wound? I just got a hard step that I can do. This pains me so much because I could have had two steps to do and now I have one again. <laughs> I mean, seriously, why? If I've counted correctly, this is kill 1000. Can we get anything? Never lucky. I've been chilling and killing a lot on my tablet recently. Did get another hard clue finally, but uh, it was a no stepper. So still trying to juggle, still trying to get another step. Maybe today's the day. I accidentally stumbled across a decent idea. I went to recharge my prayer points because I ran out and I brought an anti-poison with me to drink on my way, but I didn't drink it, I forgot to drink it, and now I'm here with an anti-poison because I didn't get poisoned, and now my thinking is, I should just keep an anti-poison here, and leave it on the ground, and if I get poisoned on my way, have a little slurp. Because like, I don't need an anti-poison every time I come here, maybe one in three times, because I don't get poisoned all the time. Range level going up, we're 80, no we're not. Okay, please, here's a hard clue scroll, give me a step. Lamor, can I do that? I won't be able to do that. I bet that's in Mauritania, isn't it? Uh, see ya. Oh, look at that. It's the first pretty nice thing off of the rare drop table. The shield left half. Nice. That's a one in 1700. That's pretty cool. This is the mega juggle now. Look at all of the things on the ground. This is crazy. Too many things. And all these heads in my inventory. Shield left half. Too many things. This new accidental strategy of leaving the anti-poison here is actually working out really well too because I've probably done like 10 inventories and not had to drink one. I didn't realize how little I'd have to drink it. Oh, <gasps> it's my lucky day! Let's go, it's my lucky day, time to go, let's go have luck. All right, let's open it up. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, <gasps> that's another clue scroll. Oh, please, please be lucky. Northeast of Relica, no, no, dang it. There's another level on the account, we're getting up there baby. Damn, there's another hard clue I can't do. Just got another hard clue, like, two kills later, but it's no good again. Oh dear, I just died. For the first time there I died, I was not expecting to die just then. What the hell? Man, I've done pretty well to not die so far, but death is not good, I do not like dying. 
Got my stuff, also got poison. Good thing I got this anti-poison here. <laughs> Whoa, wait, I just realized I lost my hard clue. I didn't pick it up off my grave. Did I leave it on the ground? What? Oh, man. That really hurts. I've been trying to juggle that boy for ages. Oh, I'm never going to even be able to attempt it. Oh, it's a shame. I just checked back on the footage and it despawned right when I got to the grave just before it. Ah. Does this game hate me? It just gave me another hard clue. Thankfully, I can't do it. I'm glad I can't do it. If I could do it, I would hate it. I'd hate everything, but I can't do it. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. I got a couple of drops from the rare drop table as well. Another rune spear, which I elked. I got a nice little rune two-hander, which is like a one in 3k, something like that. I don't know if I will ever use this, but it's nice to have. It's a level 99 smithing if I were to smith it. I don't know if it's going to have its uses, but I yoinked it. I've kept it. Well, that snuck up on me. We just got level 80 range. Ooh. Ooh. How did this happen? This must have been when the game updated yesterday. Oh, 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 man. I think I logged out in the firing line of the dragon, but why the hell does that mean I died? No! What the f*** just happened? Why did this happen? Hold on. Yesterday I stopped playing when the game update happened. I guess I finished up in the line of fire of a dragon when they're aggressive. But why the hell does that mean I died? I thought the game servers died. Why did I die? If I was a hardcore, that would have been the worst way to go. That is so dumb. Why grave here? That just, that made, that make me mad. Why die? Not the kind of excitement I'm looking for in the morning, I'll tell you that much. I had no idea if you were in the line of fire when the game updates, you could still get hit by the bad boys. Why is that a thing? Like, I know they have the countdown timer to say, okay, you know, you got 30 minutes left. And when you get to zero, you shouldn't be doing anything. Why let things still kill if I can't do anything? If you force me to log, why must I die? I feel like it's about time I got a dragon spear though. I think now is the time for a dragon spear. So if I can go ahead and get one, that'd be nice. Hmm. Well, it seems we have another hard clue I can do. I've got a step I can do. And I don't really know what to feel about this. Oh, I don't know. I'll hold on to it for a bit and think about it. You know, I guess I'm at a point now with this range level that these kills will almost never take more than three minutes, so this hard clue should never despawn if I drop it at the start of a kill. So I think I'm okay with juggling it again. And if I can get into the habit of dropping it at the start of the kill, I think, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do that. I've completely stopped doing farming, by the way. Full focus is on these dragons. I need that Vissi right now. These levels sure do be sneaking up on me. We got 81 now. I think this is a new max hit too. I think I start hitting 17s now. I'm just on my way to go mine more amethyst now. Uh, this teleport back to Felidor gave me 66 magic, funny enough. Howdy gamers. I have a lot more arrow tips to work with now. Look at that. Got 5,000 more of them. Bit more in the bank too. Oh, beautiful. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself one of these amulets of power. That's for the clue scroll when it's time to do it. Hopefully I can do this one this time and don't lose it. I would really love to not lose this one. Mate, this is my first kill back. Give me. Give me. No, Wildy. Oh, that would have been so cool. Disaster. I'm gonna lose that clue scroll. I just died. Gotta get back there real quick. <sighs> Oh, that's like a minute to get there. Damn, why'd that dragon have to hit me for a 32? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it just despawned. I clicked on it. No. Oh, I picked up the. Why is my grave on it? I picked up the anti poison first. Damn it. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, ha, ha. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, man. Fuck me. Uh, I will never catch a break with this fucking clue scroll. Why did my grave have to be right on top of it? I was trying to like get the right click on it while I was running in. Damn it, man. That really hurts. Why do I keep losing these clue scrolls? If I was there like three ticks sooner, I would have got it. That's crazy. 
Not even, like two, like one maybe. It's nuts. I will never have any luck with these hard clues apparently. At this point, I've pretty much given up on prayer flicking completely. It's good to know, it's a good skill to have. I think I've got it down pat pretty well, but like I just can't be bothered with it anymore. It speeds up the kills marginally, you know? It's not super duper, but I'm glad I know how to do it. Oh man, we got another shield left half. Why don't you go ahead and make that a dragon spear? I don't need another shield left half. I already got one. Hey, I'm fletching some more amethyst arrows at the fire obelisk. That's pretty cool, huh? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah! Oh, we got our fletching level, 85. And I can make magic longbow now, which I think I will very soon, because I'd like to try to use that with the spec here. I think that'd be pretty cool. We have 6,000 more amethyst arrows. Thank you, Fire Obelisk, for your company. I'm just going to elk this shield left half next time I come back to. There's no point keeping a second one, and it's going to give me a nice 66k for the elk. So that sounds pretty cool. We're going on the side mission. I want some magic logs, and I'm going to make myself a magic longbow. Use the specs. Maybe that'll be useful at these black dragons. I'm gonna get a handful of extra magic logs. Who knows when I might need a few more for something. I don't want to cut that damn tree any longer, it's so slow. Okay, so, give me one of these long boys, make it into a bow. Beautiful. It truly is a long bow. Much longer than the short bow. I already have a lot of items to juggle, so what's one more? I'll leave that on the ground when I'm killing the dragons, so I can get a nice full inventory still. Okay, let's see how this magic longbow goes. Let's chuck it on, give some specs. Oh. Okay. Well, we hit and that's for sure. It ignores the defense, so I will keep using it and see how it goes. All right, let's see about these specs. Come here, gamer. I mean, it's hitting, isn't it? I'm not 100% sold on this longbow yet. It needs to prove itself to me, and it hasn't done it yet. Well, I must say I'm not sold on this longbow. I think this thing will remain in the bank. In fact, I can just chuck it on the ground, because I can just make another if I need to. The spec doesn't seem worth it. It's, it's hitting, but it's not always hitting amazingly. And with the magic short boat, that's still probably hitting just about more anyway, because it hits two times with the spec. So I think the longbow is a no-go, but it was good to try it. See how it went. This longbow's got to go. I don't want it anymore. Goodbye. Forget about it. I'm going to get a herb law level from this lamp. Thank you very much. 53. We got 75 hit points. That's pretty nice. So we have now surpassed 2,000 kills. We are 20% of the way to drop rate, which is probably... 13% chance to get the drop yet. Haven't got it, but that's fine. Still happy to keep killing them. And I've noticed now that the deaths are coming in pretty thick and fast. And I think that's because I kill a lot more of these dragons before the aggro timer runs out. So they're still aggro for more like six kills now rather than the four before. So they've got a lot more opportunity to smack me. Yesterday I died a couple more times as well. So deaths are happening. I think I need to figure out a way to try and avoid that better because dying is not exactly fun. Here's an interesting thought. There's this one monk in particular where the aggro is still on. They should be mad, but he can't hit me here because I'm just out of his range right here. So if I keep this monk around, then I could use that to hit me before the other dragon can. The only thing is keeping it here. Maybe it wants to walk away. That's interesting. It's only this sort of one specific monk. But if I tag it, maybe I could try to get its attention and bring it around here at the start of an inventory. Who knows? But yeah, like, I, I run back here to grab the loot and he's smacking me. I don't know, I don't think this monk seems to know how to, how to leave. He's just, just hovering around. Doesn't know how to get past that little column there. So, in a sense, this monk's gonna protect me from this dragon. Go grab the loot, and the monk attacks me. And then I run back here and the monk's the egg. The only problem might be now actually trying to get that dragon's attention. No, not so bad. Looks like there's a line along here where the monk's not aggressive too. So it's like just in this corner where this monk is still aggro, which is actually pretty nice. Might work out well for me. 
We just got 82 ranged. Number go up, number go up. From here on out, I think I shouldn't die anymore. Now that I got this monk on my side, I think we should be good. Adamant javelins naturally drop from these dragons in quantities of 30. But this is 170, not divisible. That means I got one drop of 20. And it is a 1 in 4k from the rare drop table to get 20 adamant javelins. So I have got a 1 in 4k. But 20 javelins. That's nuts. I'm surprised I even noticed that. Well, the verdict is in. This monk may just be the best monk in the game. It stays here forever, it's a sticky monk, never leaves, and it protects me from dying from the dragons by punching me in the face. So I give this monk a 10 out of 10 wood monk again. I, man, I don't even care. I just got a third shield left half. Why I get another? Why not give me something else, like dragon spear? That'll actually be useful. Shield left half is no good to me. Too much happening right now. I've got so many things on the ground and I got a quiz to do. Man, <laughs> I got a full inventory. I got a quiz to do. Maybe we get something good out of the mystery box. We all know this is going to be garbage, so let's just open it. Yeah, nice. Worth the effort. <laughs> That's like the most stuff I've had on the ground at once. That's crazy. Let's get rid of this shield half. Yes, get rid of it. Go away. Might die. Oh, one HP is all I need, baby! Good morning, gamers. I have mined a fresh 16,000 amethyst arrow tips over the last couple days. And now we are back to shoot some more dragons. So I just reached 83 range not long ago. And I think after this trip, I'm gonna go get more mist runes because I'm running pretty low. Need some more. Hey, I just noticed how much mining XP I have. 14 mil. I guess it goes to show how much uh, amethyst mining I've been doing, huh? Just a bit. So, I need more water talismans for the mist runes, and this is my man right here. He drops them at like a 1 in 20. So here we go, I'll kill a lot of this man. And it's looking like the best option is to just kill and hop, because he doesn't seem to spawn back pretty quick. Pretty slow. I just leveled up my attack to 61, so I guess I'll take this as an opportunity now to start working on the, the defense. Okay, well, I just got my first water talisman in 46 kills. What is happening? Come on. Is this a bad omen? Is this is this telling me something? Is this is this something gonna happen? Is this if it's a 1 in 20 and I got it in 46 kills? What is that gonna mean for the VC? Okay, I just got back to back. I guess that's fine. Okay, bro, this is just unfair. This is kill 100 and I've only got three talismans. This game is rigged. I should have five. I hate this game. I'm gonna cry. Have no idea what I just logged into. I swapped worlds and there is just a line of people. What is going on? I guess I'm leading a party now of people. I'm their leader. <laughs> they just walked away <laughs> just okay i don't know what this is i don't know why there's a line of people okay <laughs> i'm going killing again that was interesting it is kill 145 and i just got my fourth water talisman my guy i should have like seven of these what's going on those water wizards were pissing me off, so I left. I only ended up getting seven from them. I made the switch yesterday to mobile and killed like a hundred or more, and only got two more of these. It's meant to be a one in 20 drop, but I was getting it more in 40 or more. So it pissed me off, so I just came here to mine some essence. And how much of that do I have? Yeah, like 500, but I've still got some mist runes, so I'm just going to kill a few more dragons now and then worry about the, uh, the mist runes later. Well, 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 look who is extremely low on the mist runes. That would be me. I've only got six left, enough for two more inventories. So I desperately need to go and get more talismans. Hopefully this time I won't get so pissed off at them and I actually get the drop now and then. Well, I'm pretty over this now. I'm going to take my 19 water talismans that I have here and the seven in the bank and go use them. Last kill, then I'm out. These talismans will get me a lot of mist runes anyway. I yoinked another one right at the end, nice. 
I'm gonna just go ahead and make a handful of these binding necklaces for this ring crafting because chances are I will need some more anyway in the future. So here's the scoop. I've mined a bunch more amethyst. I have a lot more amethyst arrow tips now. 23,000 total. That's a lot of arrow tips. I've also gone ahead and made my mist runes. I got plenty to keep me going now. And I got myself a hard clue while I was here. It's a step that I can do. Maybe this is the one. Maybe I just lose it again to a death. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to try again. And for the finale, I have another mystery box, which I will open. But let's see how it goes. Look, I got a diamond. It's uh, not, definitely not the worst reward, but not incredible. Now it is time finally to kill some more dragons. But first, I'm making more amethyst arrows at the fire obelisk. I just got 86 fletching next to the fire obelisk. Thank you, kind sir. I just made... 23,000 amethyst arrows next to the fire obelisk. Well, now it's time to shoot some dragons again. Look who came for a visit. This man wants to give me another mystery box with nothing in it. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, when I was killing that water wizard, I ended up getting four defense levels on it. That's how much I killed that guy. And the rune crafting, well, I'm up to 31 now as well. If I was going to retire my account, now would be the best time to do it because I am at 69 days played, baby. Too bad I'm going to keep playing it though. That's a shame. That's probably the worst decision I've ever made, I think. Yeah. Oh, you are kidding me. I just got a third rune kite shield and we are... I think very close to 2,500 kills down on these guys. So a quarter of the way to the drop rate for the Visi. And we've got three 1 in 8 Ks in this one item. That's just bizarre. See, I've got another rune 2H on the ground. This is my second one from the rare drop table. Uh, 1 in 2.7K, twice in 2.6K kills. The drops are happening, but not the right one. We just got this rune spear earlier as well, but that's the wrong spear. I want the dragon one. I've already got one of these. Or two of these. How many of these do I have? It's my fourth, man. I don't need four of these things. I want a dragon one. Oh, we got another range level, baby. 84. This could be good. I got another scroll. Please be something I can do. No, oh, it's in the wildy. I hate you. You're the worst man. We just surpassed 3 mil range XP, baby. We started off with like 1 mil and now we're up to 3. That's pretty good. I'm, I've been waiting for this one. This might be good. Tyrus Camp. I'm disappointed. Hey, I just got hit 44 and f died. All my stuff's going to despawn. Okay, 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 okay. It's still, it's still there. I'm taking the hard clue first. Okay, saved, saved. Oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't lose that again. Oh boy. I just realized I let the clue scroll despawn. How long has it been since that's been gone? Oh my god. I am so dumb. I should not be trusted. I think I just straight up forgot about the clue scroll. That's the fourth clue I've lost. This one is straight up 100% my fault for just being dumb. I realized something recently. I was wondering why I hit my max hit of 18 so quickly. And I was also wondering why my kills were so slow. And then I realized, oh, I was shooting on accurate. And it would have been like 10 hours I was shooting on accurate killing these guys very slowly. The reason I was on accurate was because I swapped it to long range very briefly just to go shoot my monk friend that I need, which I'll need to get again now. And well, I must have just put it back on accurate, which is so stupid. So kills were going from like a minute 40 probably on average to about 240. That can be partially to blame for losing that hard clue. Not entirely, but partially. Because one lapse and one extra long kill made me lose it. Okay, 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 okay. Just got 85 range. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. So it looks like we have surpassed 3,000 kills as well. Currently sitting on 3,011 dead dragons. And we are still going for the VC. I'm, I'm ready for it now, I think. I think I'm ready to get the drop. It's been a hot 3k, now I'm ready. So it's taken about three weeks to get to the 3k kill mark. So I'm getting about 
140 kills every day on average, and that's including the days I'm taking to collect more research, resources. So this is nice. This is awesome. Oh, and I just got a hard clue? Is it something I can do? No. You nil. Is this good hard clue? Wait, I think it is. Maybe fifth time's a charm. I'll juggle this one, and I won't lose it, and I'll get a second step. I have a story to tell. A huge story. So, last night, I'm chilling. I'm on my tablet. I'm killing dragons. And then all of a sudden, do you see that? Do you see that right there? I got it. It was about seven minutes before the game update. I was just about to head to bed. And then, boom, there it is. Just chilling out, baby. Oh my god, I wish I had a live reaction for that. But basically, like, for like three minutes or so, I was just sitting there like this, like, oh. It's crazy. It's, I couldn't believe it. So I don't know exactly what the KC is, but it's about 3,300. I'll check it when we get to the bank and see exactly what it is. But of course I've got to kill one more to see if we can get the back to back. I mean, how could I not? So at the rate I got it, about 3,300 kills, that's about 24% chance to get it. I kind of wish that I got a D-Spear first, because I never got one of those from the rare drop table. But still, I got the Vissi, I got what I'm here for. I can't believe it, baby. So can we get the back to back? Oh, rigged. Scam game. Look at that. Look at that right there. Sitting right on the ground right there. <laughs> Look at it sitting down there. Ain't it beautiful? Ain't she a beaut? Oh my goodness. So what is the actual KC? Let's have a look. 3,260 black dehyde. I tanned 25 plus 3 drops that I missed. Plus 4 of the hide in the inventory. So 3,292. That's kind of nuts. And the whole time while I was trying to juggle a card clue, I was never able to get a second step. Never able to. So I might just try this one. It's for sure gonna fail, but I might as well try. Okay, let's see if this clue's gonna do any good. Doubt? Oh, maybe I can do this now. next one too. No, I can't. Okay. So we finished up on 85 ranged. 78 hit points. Over 14 mil XP in mining. Still no pet, but we did finally get some luck on the Vissi. Woo! Let's just take a moment to admire all of the things in the bank. Look at all of the dragon hide. Look at all of the bones. Over 3,000 of each. 103 insold dragon heads. That's some nice prayer XP too. These 15,000 javelins will be pretty nice for some money if I need it. Sell it to some ranging shops. Uh, these darts, don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I have them. Over here, look at our cash stack. It is rising. And look at the tooths and the loops of keys. I've got plenty of these, but I'm not going to use these. It seems like kind of a waste of time to just use them on the regular crystal chest. So I'm going to wait until I get to the Elven City to finally use these things. And that's going to be so far away. But man, am I happy? I am happy. Here is a scuffed look at what we got on the red drop table. So we ended up getting a bunch of rune bars, talismans, diamonds, whatever, whatever. A few nature rune drops, a rune two-hander. Eh, whatever, 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 whatever. Three kite shields. Don't really need those anymore after the DFS though, just saying. And three left halves. Shame I didn't get the D-spear. Went over the drop rate for that, but didn't get it. D-Med would have been nice too. But hey, we got what we're here for. So we finished the grind successfully with one Draconic Visage acquired. And also as a failed juggler. It would have been nice to attempt a hard clue, but I think it never was going to happen anyway. I've got one more thing to say. I've decided to open up a Patreon. And if you'd like to show your support for me on there, you'll find the link in the description. I'd love the opportunity to do this full time one day, and with your help, we can get one step closer. So thanks very much for your support. You've made it to the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching.